So you have stream avatars and you want to have your own custom background. So we start stream avatars and then right here we see general. But there's also a tab called backgrounds. This is where we need to be because we are gonna change the background. What you want to do is click on the hamburger menu, click on create new and call it something. I'm gonna call it test now because this is just a tutorial. It already exists, so I'm not allowed to call it test. I'm gonna call it tutorial as it is a tutorial video. We select the one that we wanna change, which is a tutorial, which automatically selects if we make a new one. And then here we want to edit it. Like you see, it is empty. There's no objects here. We wanna create an object. Now we do have an object here, but there's nothing here yet. We need to select an image. We can do that by clicking here and selecting any of these images that are in here. So for example, I've got these birthday flags in here. Got this little cloud in here. The, the grass is in here. If you click on here and you do not see all of these things and you want to upload a custom one, click on this data folder here. It will open the folder here and you can go to backgrounds. And then here you can add your background images. You can see that I've added some in here as well. Uh, these were for PUBG back in the days. <laughs> uh, this is my battle royale ship. We made a bridge here so we could have some information here when I need it from the game itself. Got some clouds, grass, these are standard ones. But yeah, you can add your own ones like we did. And what you just do is you put your PNG in here. If we click on it and I go to properties, you can see the width here and the height. This is the width and height that I use for my background, but you can use something else. The standard backgrounds are in here as well. The little grass here. If you right click and go to properties here, you'll be able to see what the dimensions are for those. So I definitely recommend making them 1536 pixels wide because then it is screen filling when you use them. So we've put them here in the map and we've got them here now because we added new grass. So we're running, gonna put it down here. And maybe we want something more because we do not want just a single object. We're gonna add a new object and we want those flags in here birthday flags. There we go. So these are the birthday flags. They're transparent, but you don't see that right now. But like you see that underneath the grass now, we can make sure that we get that up the grass. So we have the Z index one. Now it is above this one because this is in Z index zero. The higher the number, the higher it is up in the layer. So you need to see them as like layers, pages on top of each other. Okay, we're gonna create a new object and we can, for example, put some clouds in here too. Here we go, now we have clouds. Create another cloud if you want. We can also make them move, for example. If we do 50, for example. So yeah, that's how you make them move. If we add an, another object and that's an animated one. So for example, the battleship we had, there we go. As you see, it appears as the whole sprite, but what we can do is click on animated and we can set the width. I think it's 32. No, it's not 32. I think 64 then. It is way bigger tree. Normally you or your artist actually knows how big one of the sprites is. So you can actually uh, fill the right one in. You also need to know how many frames it has. So this one does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames. But it also says that here already FPS is eight, which is Good, we just need to figure out what the width is from these sprites. 112, there we go, yeah, that's good. And now this one is animated because we put it on animated. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna save it. Now we're gonna go to connect. We need to wait until it connects and you'll see your avatars. You, you probably see the standard background here. What you want to do is go up here, click on tree background for you that says something else like Little Jurassic, Little Summer or something like that. You find the background name that you just made. We just made the tutorial. And we can see that the ship is actually moving because it's animated, the animation is running. We should be running it to the left or right probably to make it look great. And we can see how fast <laughs> this, <laughs> this cloud is going. The cloud is going insanely fast. So that is definitely something we need to adjust. As we can also see is that the avatars aren't in the grass, but they're on the ground. So we need to fix that too. What we go do is go back to the backgrounds and select the one that we just made and edit it. Okay, so the, the cloud here needs to go a lot slower. So let's put it on 10. And the ship needs to go a little bit to the left as well. Uh, that's at f five. We just wanted to move slowly. Now the avatars are walking right here at the bottom instead of on the grass or kind of like in the middle. So what I want to do is I want to move the avatars as well. 
So here it says red line, red line. We can move that. We can see the line as, as we type goes up. See, 100. Now we can move these items again. Here we go. See the green. And the red is where they walk on. So if we put this down now, and we would save this, we can see that the avatars are walking way higher. See now the avatars are walking on the grass. I don't put them in all the way up the grass because I feel like they need to kind of walk in the grass and not like on the pixels immediately. But this way they're walking inside the grass. We can also see that they go over the flagpole now, um, which, you know, <laughs> is a little bit annoying. Now I think of it, where is the Bowser ship gone to? It is gone. Oh, I think we might have put it too high. So the avatars were walking over here, which looks a bit odd. So what we can do is we can put this over the avatars. If you put this on 20, 20 is foreground, they say. We should be able to see them walk underneath it now. <laughs> no, the ship is going backwards. Well, yeah, you know how to fix that. You need to do it minus five then if you want it to go left side. What I want to see is if these avatars, yeah, they go underneath the pole now. I mean, this does look odd, but they always walk here, so you won't see it. <laughs> the flag poles are in front of it right now. So that's how you put flag things or anything before the avatars. And this is how you move avatars and put animated items in there as well. If you haven't viewed the first tutorial yet, where I explain how to set up the stream avatars, definitely do that first because you're gonna miss out on a lot of info and you are not gonna understand anything if you don't watch this video first. Okay, so you know how to set up a new background right now, but there's so much more to learn about the stream avatars. So I'll lead you to this playlist where I explain you how to set up the rest because there's so much more. <laughs> See you there.